Hello, this is Bob with Bob CNC, and in this video tutorial series, we're going to take a look at Estelkamp. Now, in this first video, we're just going to do a quick overview of Estelkamp as well as show you how to set it up to use gerbil firmware CNC based machines. So, for example, the E3 and E4 run gerbil firmware, so this will be applicable to those CNC routers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the tool list. Now up here I have tool number one selected. I can select different tools uh, when I'm making tool paths. Um, so each of the tools has a list of parameters, different columns. And uh, if you want to add a tool, pretty easy. Just click in the blank one. It'll add you a new tool. If you're never going to use that tool again, you can always click the X and delete it. So what are the different parameters? Well, I could walk through them, but it would probably be just as easy to click on the header and see the description that he has written. As a matter of fact, you'll define these uh, little help boxes throughout the program, which are quite helpful. So here we have the diameter, for instance, and the depth per pass, and the feed rate, and the uh, plunge rate. So all of those different parameters are there for you to use. Okay, so next, we're going to have a list of buttons over here. And, of course, we have our general select button, and each one of these uh, gives you a, a fly-out bunch of text boxes, like for rotating or moving your uh, code. And, again, you get the uh, help boxes if you leave it on there. So this one's going to cut on the outside of the line. This will be on the inside of the line. On the line, this will do our V-carving, or if we just want to drill some holes, uh, write some text, change our zero points, or, or even uh, preview the uh, toolpath that we've made. Next, uh, if we look at the menu, you know, your file open. Uh, one menu that we have here is going to be the edit. Uh, the one thing that's important that's here is the machining order for later when we want to change the machining order. In our view, uh, the one thing that uh, you might notice here is the work area, so you can change the size uh, of the work area that you want it to be. Um, in automatic functions, we'll cover this later, but this is one of the reasons I really like Estelcam. Uh, you can add corner overcuts or create holding tabs. Uh, you can do this in different areas too, but this one, these uh, buttons or menu items do it automatically for you. Makes it really nice for big G code files. And of course, here is your setup, and we'll go ahead and take a deeper look at that today in this video. Uh, again, this is uh, for setting up the CNC machine, what type of CNC machine you, you have. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So in setup basic settings, we'll want to go ahead and set this to gerbil. He has other machines in here, but gerbil is the firmware that we use. Uh, so that's uh, what we're going to set it to. Also notice here that we have lots of other parameters that you can set. Uh, for instance, uh, the clearance plane. This is how far above the uh, workpiece your bit's going to be when it's not cutting. Uh, we also have climb milling or conventional milling. Uh, where is the origin going to be for the Z? Uh, all of these things. So you might want to take a look at them. If you're not sure what they mean, again, it has a brief description. If you're still not sure, you can probably just leave it the way that it is uh, because it is pretty good set of defaults. Okay, so there is that window. Uh, the next one down is going to be the CNC programs. Again, you're going to want to change it to the gerbil. Uh, and then you're going to want to change what lengths uh, unit you output uh, say inches and maybe inches per minute. I like the NGC uh, file extension because that's uh, what some of my CAM software likes. And then I want to use ARCs and the IJ as relative. So that's pretty much it. There's some more here across the top. It's more advanced features. Uh, you can uh, mess with them if you want to, but uh, the defaults are really pretty good there. All right, so uh, one other thing that I want you to know, we run gerbil firmware. But the fellow that wrote Estelcam, Christian, also made a CNC controller. Now, you can go ahead and connect your uh, CNC with this controller, but it's not plug and play. Uh, you can just go ahead and select uh, the Bob CNC E3, and you want to uh, uh, select the COM port of your machine, and you can program your controller. However, it's not quite that simple. You'll need to change some of the hardware settings. Uh, there is an article out there on the Help Center on how to do that. So if you want to play around with it, you can try that. Uh, if you have an E4, we don't have an E4 in there uh, for this, but uh, one thing that you're going to want to change is how far um, 
the axis travel moves and I cannot remember for the life of me which one is in here but here we go you want to change these to 24 inches right and uh, you'll be okay now if you want to experiment with that uh, you can but in the end if you want to go back you'll have to change your jumper settings again and then you can restore your controller to the gerbil firmware uh, I personally recommend gerbil I've used both quite a bit they both work um, but uh, gerbil has or the universal g-code sender with gerbil has more features and is what we're going to support at Bob CNC. But that's out there for you if you want to give it a try. And of course, if you have questions, you can always email the help desk. All right, so uh, that's going to be it for the overview. Uh, join us in our next video when we're going to go ahead and just load up a bitmap or a picture and show you the features that uh, Estocam has when you use bitmaps. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.